Okay, so I know this video is long awaited, but welcome back to another video. This is going to be the giveaway um, reading I was talking about. And the question, because I forgot already. Okay, the question is going to be what actions can I take to heal old wounds? So we have three options. We have number one, number two, number three. So for number one, we have a little purple flower petal with rose quartz. Group number two is a little yellow petal with a red stone. I believe this is red jasper. Could be wrong about that, so don't quote me. And number three is a little pink petal with amethyst. And that is my laundry. Okay, so presumably you've picked by now, and we're going to get started with group number one. So let me move these out of the way. <clears throat> okay. So first up, you got Obedience. This is kind of a listen up cards from like your deities, your guides, whatever. So this is them usually telling you, listen up to what we're saying and follow through. Um, it's blind trust for me usually. So like trusting what they say without questioning it, which is really hard. I do not like this card. I get it a lot though. <laughs> um, okay, so you also have Earth. Which I don't think you can. Oh, there you go. So it says, ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. So it sounds like you're going through a whirlwind of madness right now. And the best thing to do is to keep grounded and make sure you're meditating a lot. Um, just keeping yourself calm, working through the hard times and trying not it, to let it overwhelm you. We also have wishes come true, rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. So hopefully something is coming your way. And then for tarot, we have queen of pentacles. So I'm not well versed in tarot yet, especially towards um, the court cards, but for me, looking at this card, it kind of speaks as someone who is good with their money. Um, she seems to be looking at her coin very dearly, so someone who takes care of their money and spends it well is what I'm getting from that. I'm going to go ahead and double check myself with the little paper thing real quick though, just to make sure. I'm just going to go ahead and trust what I thought in the first place because this did not help me at all. So. We're going to say this one is someone who's very good with their money and takes care of it wisely. Queen of Shadows is usually my kind of um, wild card sort of thing. Like being, um, what do you call it? Sexual, um, wild. It kind of reminds me of Lilith, like just that primal nature sort of person. So there is that one. And then we have from the Bellicera, uh, Pedro, do everything with joy. I love to see you happy. Thank you. So what is speaking to us here? Mm. So obviously with the obedience, it's kind of like, um, blind trust to your guides and deities for the earth that's asking you to meditate make sure you're doing um you're keeping yourself calm whenever times are chaotic wishes come true obviously you're bringing in your wishes uh to fruition pretty soon hopefully this comes in with the money card as well make sure you are at a strong standing point with your money, take care of it, um, nurture it, make sure you're helping it grow, um, or you're saving it, whatever. Um, 
whatever you were going through in the past may have been struggles with money or a job or something like that. And what else? Do everything with joy. I love to see you happy. That one is sort of... Um, wow, I can speak. So... This one is don't let yourself, again, get overwhelmed with all the chaos going in, in your, going on in your life. Um, just make sure to stay grounded, try and see the good in the little things, and move on forward strong if you can. I feel like the Queen of Shadows one, as I said, like a wild card, I feel like this one's telling you to be the wild card. Um, oops, sorry. Do things... Um, I don't know, just, it's like, stay wild, stay fun, stay free, do what you gotta do. It, I'm feeling like I should say, do what others don't expect you to do. You know, don't stay necessarily within the lines of what people want you to do with possibly your career or whatever. If you want to go off the wall with a different career, if you're feeling connected to that, take steps to that. Just stay the wild card and do what you want to do with joy. Um, so yeah, that is group number one. Thank you. All right, group two with the red jasper. Four. What actions can I take to heal old wounds? Okay, so first of all, we got Fragment. This one usually for me is t telling me you don't feel whole. Like you feel like you're broken in a piece. Like you're only part of the way there. Or um, you don't feel like you have someone in your life. So you feel like a fragment. You're not a whole person without them. Um, we have Triple Moon. Embracing all aspects of yourself. The divine and the earthly. So... Yeah, this one, ooh, so maybe that could be, you are only, like I said with the fragment, you're only seeing one part of yourself and not embracing your whole. That's interesting. One enchanted evening, the perfect night. We have seven of pentacles. We have from the Belisera, yellow, spend time with me and you will get your heart's desire. Mm, okay. And then we have the witch. So for like, this is already a clear picture for me. Uh, it seems like in the past you may have ignored parts of yourself, right? So um, you've been only focusing on this one fragment of yourself this whole time. More recently, you may have just realized there's a part of yourself that um, you have been ignoring. Maybe a shadow aspect or something like that. Um, but with the triple moon, it's telling you to embrace all aspects of yourself. You know, don't leave any parts behind just because maybe you don't like it or you're scared about heading in that direction because you're not sure how it will turn out or what others will think of you. Um, just really keep an open mind with yourself. With Seven of Pentacles, this one to me, and as I said, I'm not very well versed with tarot, so sorry if it's not exact, but I'm going off of what I see on the card. So this guy is trying to, um, he's trying to grow his crops over here and he's waiting. So it looks like you're just in a, in a kind of stand still waiting maybe for more discovery maybe for confirmation on what to do on how to get past this point because you don't maybe you're like um not sure which direction to head and then we have uh with yellow spend time with me and you will get your heart's desire so yellow to me is your shadow or your fragment of self speaking to you saying you need to spend time with me to get what you want 
this is what you want, so why are you ignoring it? Or why are you scared of it? You know, whatever. With the witch, the witch card is my manifestor card. Also, um, this one could connect with the magician for regular tarot. This card for me is always like the the manifestor. You bring what you want. You bring your you bring forward your heart's desires. So um, the one enchanted evening to me maybe speaks of spell work in a sense or maybe just doing whatever the work is to connect to this aspect of yourself that is what is speaking to me so that's all i have for group two thank you so much all right last but not least we have group three with the amethyst and this is what actions can you take to heal from old wounds all right we're already getting interesting <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So first of all, we've got risk. Obviously, that's pretty straightforward on what that is. <laughs> Taking risks. We have the festival. Creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event partying. Interesting. We have the tree of life, true wisdom, and making good choices in life. We have king of swords. When I saw him, I thought of um, the truth, like speak very blunt in a sense. We have patience. We have I am connected and we have skipper believe in your worth you are valuable hmm interesting you know what with the tree and this card of um, I am connected this speaks to me as roots saying you're connected to something or to someone somehow um, and whomever that is or whatever that is there is risk in this there's a lot of risk in this relationship that you have had or may still have currently so what have we got here? So this card either speaks to, I'm saying two different scenarios with this. Either it is, um, you need to be more truthful with yourself or more straightforward with yourself. Or this is how the other person is. They're very straightforward, um, blunt, could be hurtful, very cutting with their words sort of person. Um... And as I said before, I'm not very well versed in tarot yet, so sorry if it's not exactly perfect, but I'm just going off of the picture on the cards plus the very little bit I know about tarot. So yeah, I'm seeing kind of that for that one. And then we have patience. So being patient with either yourself, you know, this one could also be, if you guys are separated right now, this could be um, your sign to be patient on either waiting for them to come forward and come back since you guys are so well connected or um, maybe them waiting for you to come back, you being patient with yourself to be able to heal from whatever happened in the past energies. Skipper comes forward with saying, believe in your worth, you are valuable. Maybe before in this relationship, you didn't feel your uh, self-worth, so you are you got out of the situation to change that, or vice versa, they did. They got out of the situation to believe in their worth, so have patience with either yourself, or maybe they need patience, and that's why 
or not maybe they need patience. Maybe you need to have patience with them while they are finding their self-worth. The festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. So this kind of reminds me of a different card within this deck, which is called the Enchanted Knight. And basically, it's almost like the stars have aligned everyone. Like, it feels like all your guides have put together this little party, this moment of when everything is great again, whenever you two are finally going to meet up, do the thing, whatever, or the other person finally sends a message, or you finally send a message, and everything is reciprocated. So it seems like you went through, what I'm being most drawn to right now is you went through something crazy in the past with a person, someone you're really deeply connected with. And um, it's either been a risk-taking sort of thing. Maybe you're trying to reach out to them or they're trying to reach out to you. And it's very risky to get involved. You don't want to get hurt again or they don't want to get hurt again. Um, this is the time to be very straightforward with yourself. Um, not only that, maybe it's time for them to be straightforward with themselves and speak the truth and know the truth. Know that there may have been problems in the past, um, but know if you have the patience, you guys can make it work. Just be patient with yourself and with the other person. Um, and know your self-worth, know your value, because those are important things. And in the past, you probably did not, or they did not recognize certain boundaries that needed to be met. And then last but not least, again, the festival, there's something coming. There's a meeting point. There's a message that's going to be sent. There's something there. So the action really in this whole thing is just to be patient and make sure you know your self-worth. Anyways, that is the last of the groups. Thank you, group number three. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, so this is technically my first overall um you know reading on the channel so let me know how you guys enjoyed it i have not really done any readings professionally so if you have any um constructive criticism i am open to that so don't just don't be harsh on stupid stuff because i don't have the tolerance for that just like if you're going to give me constructive criticism, you know, make sure you're being helpful. Make sure you're actually being helpful and not just saying you didn't like something. You know, like, that's not going to help me make readings better. So, anyways, besides that, that is all for this reading, for the giveaway reading. Sorry it was so late. I know, we're already at, like, 200, a little over 200 subscribers now. I'm a bit behind, but I've been working. It's been crazy all that jazz. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.